Egyptian Shirley Jean R. Rogers. You know, in order to get enough outdoor recreation, I need a really good chair. So I wrote this letter to wheelchair makers. Let's read it back and see how it sounds. Dear wheelchair maker, please build me a new wheelchair. It must be small enough so that when I take the rear wheels off, the chair will fit on your standard elephant. Or with the rear wheels off, I can sit on the bow of a river boat to explore the Costa Rican jungles. Or fit in this elevator in Italy. Or get carried down the steps into a long-tailed boat in Thailand to explore the floating market. When I'm scuba diving, I leave my chair in the boat. Sometimes I just ride back on the flying bridge of the boat. I relax on the beach afterward. Therefore, the chair must be resistant to saltwater sea spray. The chair must be resistant to extreme temperatures and high altitudes, so I can take it with me when I go skiing in the Rockies, trekking at Machu Picchu in the Peruvian Andes, or camping in the Himalayas with my Sherpa friends. It has to be easily disassembled, so I can put it in a doko on the back of a Sherpa. Sometimes my chair and I get carried separately, so I want to spot it easily. I'm thinking painting it Hummer yellow will help. The chair must be easy to take up or down steps. It must be easy to portage wherever I go. The chair must reflect my personality. It should be rugged, yet handsome. Oh, it has to be cool enough I can still have fun with the ladies. Please put an anti-theft device on my chair so no one takes it when I get out of it to go skydiving. Hey, look! Someone pushed Tom Cruise out of the plane. That's not Tom Cruise. That's Antonio Banderas. Paragliding. Parasailing, sailplaning, or bungee jumping. The chair should have shock absorbers on it so I can have a comfortable ride whether I'm stacked with luggage or riding in the back of a pickup truck. Oh, and make it impervious to the desert sands. Sometimes I just don't know what to expect when I go traveling, so make it small and light enough to fit on this three-wheeler in the Philippines, on this stair machine in Japan, in this safari truck in South Africa, and on this footbridge in Costa Rica. When I sail on the tall ship Tenacious, I like to sit on the bowsprit. I also like to take my turn at the helm and definitely don't want to flip backward when we hit the big waves. 
So I used these sea legs my brother and I invented to keep upright. Occasionally, I'll go to the crow's nest to get a better view. So I want a chair that's easy to haul. That goes double when I'm lifted out of one of these zodiacs. It would be both embarrassing and dangerous if my chair fell apart and I was dropped into the ocean. The chair must be strong enough, it'll not fall apart when I check out the cliffs in Socorro, New Mexico, or when I go bridge swinging in South Africa. Ah! Sometimes I just like to hang around. Did I mention it has to be cool enough I can still have fun with the ladies? Last but not least, it must be low enough I can win the next limbo contest. Sincerely, Gene R. Rogers. Yeah, that letter should do the trick. <laughs>